Hello and welcome to Infinity. In our exploration of version 2.1 Infinity Photo new features, we've got now to the blend mode keyboard shortcuts. And we've got the pink on here. So therefore we will go and have a look at doing this. So let's just draw a rectangle here. And so we've got a rectangle layer there in white. Let's just make it a color. Let's see. Let's make it green. And then if you wanted to blend this into the layer below, then normally we go here. And if we scroll down here, just move the mouse down, the various blend modes are applied so we can sort of see what happens. But if you like doing things on a keyboard, and I sometimes do if I'm a hand on the keyboard, then there's another way of doing that. If we go back to this here, it actually shows us within this page here. And this is the first three here, the ones you need to remember, but these are all the keys for all the different blend modes. So Shift plus to go down, Shift minus to go up, and Shift alt n for normal. You can also, if you want to, remember ones you use a lot. So if you use overlay a lot, then it's Shift alt o. Right, so let's apply this over here. So hands off the mouse here. Watch what's happening up here and over here. See it there happening. So I now going to go shift plus and it goes to darken. Shift plus it goes to multiply and so on. And we change these here and we get the different effects. And if I go shift minus, then it goes back up again. And shift alt n takes me back to normal and so on. So that's if you're working on the keyboard, your hands are on the keyboard, it's a very quick way of doing it. Or if you want to go to a one which you use a lot, that's also a straight in to do it. Right, let's look at the next one. Alt drive to duplicate in layers panel. Note here we've got this pink symbol here. So the, yes, this is a Windows one and we can do that. So to duplicate this layer here, there are many ways already to duplicate. But again, if you've got the mouse in hand and you want to do this quickly, you can hold down the Alt key and then drag this to a new place. And this is particularly useful if you want to put it somewhere far, far away. So to duplicate this layer, I could use Control J, but it would just put a layer directly underneath here. But if I want to put it somewhere else, say I want to put one at the bottom here, then hold down the Alt key and I can just drag it straight down like that. So that's a quick way of doing it. I can also still drag this back up here like this. And let's move some of these around here. I could change the color of that, say, to red so I can see what, what's going on there. On screen, by the way, here as well, I can also alt drag one here, or you in fact use control drag as well. So there's several ways of doing it. And say with the original, I could hit control J and this will give me a duplicate, but it always appears above the one that I'm using, which is sometimes you want, but if you want it elsewhere in that, an alt drag is the way to go. Right, what's next? Oh, this is alt click to expand and collapse all in layer panel. This is sometimes when you go in outlining, we've got layers within layers within layers. You want to just like squeeze a lot up flat or open them all up at once rather than in stages. So let's show that with these layers here. So if I shift click here and control G to form a group there, click there, shift click at the bottom, control G to form a group. Then shift click and control G, I've got groups within groups here. So normally to open this here, click on the left one here, and then I've got to click the other one here. And if I got a sort of a stack of these things, it's a bit of a pain if you just want to look at the lot of them. So all I do is, is I come up to here and I just hold down the alt key and click on that. And that opens up everything here and I can close that back up again and single click because it's been opened is now opens the all up again. That first one there, alt click, will get you straight with everything opened up. Anyway, 
taking this thing a slice at a time. And that is enough for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.